welcome today's tutorial is going to be some fun i am going to show you how to make your classroom richer and better by using google meet specifically today i'm going to talk about the use of grid view and also dual less at the same time they can split your screen and also use grid view very exciting stuff if you haven't installed the extension for grid view and also do a less you could jump to my videos and you will see how to install those so let's jump right into it now you want to present your screen in different ways to make sure you are having a better experience and also the students are enjoying your lessons so the first thing i'm going to show you will be some cool stuff about using the dual less extension a dual less extension is simply to split your screen. Once you click on your dual less, notice the icon for it, which will, which will be a double screen kind of joined together. You click on your dual less icon. And once you, you click on that, you will see the different options in which you can present your screen or split your screen. The first option is a 3 to 7 ratio, 4 to 6, 5 by 5, and so on. There's a last one that say one. One is not really splitting your screen, it's actually merging your screen. And I am going to show you how that works. It's going to be wonderful. Now, the ratios I just prescribed, but they don't really matter too much because you can decide what you want to do. And, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say I click on this first option, three to seven ratio. Now your screen is being split. Now what you can do, you can move your screen over back and forth whichever direction you want to do you can do that so I could move this around and I'll also I can move this around and if you're noticing what is happening there I'm having two different screen all right so you have one on the left one on the right now if you're noticing you realize the one on the left they have many different tabs together this one has only one tab now what I can do, and the reason why this tab is by itself, because this was a tab I have um, displaying first. So what the grid view does, or the dual less extension does, once you have that tab displayed, that tab will be by itself first. But what you can do, if you so desire, you can shift around these in terms of resizing them. So you can resize any of them. So let's put this one to be much smaller since this one will be my classroom setting and I'm going to pull that all the way over and what I can do is to pull this one even further and make it much bigger since this one I may want to present and I could click on any of the tabs to display whatever I want on those tabs and that's the cool thing about this dual list so you can click on any of those tabs and see what the information on that screen and the information on the other screen so it's like having two screen on your one computer which is awesome it's a brilliant development it's a brilliant idea now the other cool stuff about this dual less or splitting your screen is simple this all right now we have one window and yes you don't need to get frustrated with this because it is magically good now what you can do is to shift over some of your tabs if you desire so let's say i want to shift over this tab to the right all i need to do is to left click on it hold it down and drag it over to this side and it will become a part of this notice my two tabs are here now one two if you want to bring it back to the left all you need to do is the reverse press and hold and drag it back to this side and it will become a part of that side. It is brilliantly good. Now, I have all my tabs together. Now, what I want to do, if you want to put them back together, this is what you'll do. Simple doing this, you go back to your dual less icon and you go to one and magically all your tabs are now back together as before. This is great. This is brilliant. Now, how this is useful in the classroom you may want to present a certain window 
but you also want to see your student in your chat. So what you can do first, you can first fit your screen. And let's say I want to display this website from Science Art talking about the 15 deadliest animals on Earth. And so what I want to do is to show the students these, but I also want to see them in my chat or in my meet. What I will do is this. First, I will split my screen. So let's firstly go on to where the students will be. So I'll be meeting them on meet, and I want to make sure I'm in meet. Let me click on this one. All right, so now I'm gonna be in meet, and the students will be here waiting for me, and we are talking. Let's say four of us talking. All right, I have three students maybe, and I just want to display them on my screen. So what I'm gonna do now is to go into my dual list. Notice I bring up this one because I want this meet to be displayed by itself. So I go to dual list, and I want to split my screen. Magically, my chat or my meet will be on the right and the other tabs will be on the other side. This is awesome. Now I'm so excited about this because I can do so many things with this. Now what I want to do, I can resize if I want. All right, so let's, uh, let us resize this because you want to be able to read whatever you are presenting. That is the great thing about this. You want to be able to read. So you want to make your screen that you want to read as big as possible so you can see all the words. I'm resizing that and you can go as small or as large as you want. Now what you want to do is to start to present. Now what do you want to present is a window. You click on present now and you want to present a window. Once you press a window, you'll notice the options that will be coming up. So the options that are there, you have I have three different things. I could present a PowerPoint. Once I have a PowerPoint up, this is a PowerPoint showing. Or I could have this window, or I could have this. So I have three different options. Now, I want to present the 15 deadliest animals on Earth to my students. And so one, I, once I press on that, I press Share. And the students are seeing this tab only. While I am seeing them on my right they are not seeing themselves but i can see them and this is the beauty of using these two extensions together the dual less and the grid view it is awesomely brilliant now if you want to see other tutorials or other updates just leave your comments or your question in the comment sections um what you can also do you could stop presenting the great thing about this on this side, because this is the window that is being presented, what you can do, you could switch to different things if you want. So you can press on probably a video on YouTube and you can also show that. And so you can do a number of things. So I hope your school year will be great and awesome. So until next time.